Well, this week I'm coming to you from the new house. Yes, I finally moved out of my in-laws and we're in the new house and it's not quite done yet. Um, there's actually, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. There's a worker up top there. He's on the roof. We've got the uh, siding getting redone. They had to tear it all down. And we have uh, we've got a bunch of guys working out here to put the deck on. But uh, the, view, the view is pretty spectacular. So I gotta share that. We're pretty, we're really happy about this. And the thing that spurred in my mind when I started seeing everything going on here, and I thought about a video to share with you, and a concept is that um, is that this house is currently under construction, right? And I remember when I was having my accounting practice, I was always like, when am I gonna arrive? When is it gonna be done? When is it gonna be finished? When am I gonna make the money I wanna make and have the right clients and, and now have all the free time, which is the three freedoms I talk about. When is that gonna actually happen? And well, here's the thing, here's the truth of the matter. Your firm is never done. It's always under construction. You're always looking at it and saying, okay, what can I fix? What can I make better? How can I improve it here and there? So it's never like we're finished when it comes to the accounting practice and building your business. It's always gonna be an evolution. But what you can do is you can do these quantum jumps. And there goes the... You can do quantum jumps with your, with your practice. There we go. It stopped. Hopefully it stays for the rest of the, the concept that I'm trying to get out of here. You can do a quantum jump with your practice. You don't have to just do little bits and pieces. You can actually do a quantum jump. And for me, the quantum jump that worked in my accounting practice was when I finally switched away from the billable hour to a value-based system and I stopped just banging out tax returns and I did what I call the four planning pillars with the clients. And there was a quantum jump in the practice. So it's... <laughs> This, is, this isn't working too good. I'm gonna go inside because the guys are still, like it's under construction, right? My house is still under construction, just like my accounting practice was. But here's the thing is you can, you can do quantum leaps in your accounting practice like I did, but it means that what you're doing is you look at, you look at innovation versus automation. So right now the, there's a big push out there for people to automate their accounting practices. You gotta automate, automate, automate. That's the big push. That's fine, that'll give, you, that'll give you some improvements and I totally believe in automation. Like you should definitely automate your accounting practice. But don't lead with that. If you wanna do a quantum leap with your accounting practice, do innovation. And what the innovation was is getting away from the billable hour to a value price system so you actually capture the value you're creating and then also move away from compliance filings and have the conversations with the client around the four planning pillars. That for me was a major innovation. I jumped super high. Then. Then I moved back in and looked at automating, right? And ultimately, like I said, it's always gonna be a work in progress, but you can have these quantum jumps. Like, you got these blue stickers all over my house. I'm like, okay, they gotta fix that. They gotta fix this. They gotta fix the other thing. And then when that's done, I gotta go outside and I'm gonna work on the outside. And then there's always gonna be something to do, but you can do a quantum leap. And I want you to think about that in your accounting practice. If you could think of one concept, innovation before automation. If you can remember that, you're gonna have a, Head, a huge head start in getting towards the three freedoms that you want for yourself, which is money, clients, and time, which I talk about in the Accountant Success Formula. So if you are interested, as always, reach out, let me know. I'd love to have a chat with you. So I'm Eric Solback, and reminding you that when you take back control of your business model, you can take back control of your, your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.